So here's a few race highlights. Uh, so this is my absolute hash for start. So I'm busy warming my tyres down at Dottingham Hill Street. And as I come over the crest, I can see there's absolutely no one there. So I've absolutely mugged at the start. I'm absolutely sleeping. Uh, and here is a few highlights from my first stint in particular. Uh, the second stint was a bit boring for me. There wasn't really much going on. But I was keen to make up positions because I'd be qualified out of position and because I made an absolute hash at the start of that, so I was on a mission to come through. Uh, of the eagle eye of you, you may notice that um, I'm not actually wearing my normal helmet at the moment because I had, we had a radio drama in which um, Andy's helmet did work, mine didn't, I had to use a tap which meant dropping things off and he wasn't, he wasn't ready for the first in the race. So me and Andy actually ended up dropping helmets. So he has a medium sized helmet, I have a large sized helmet. Very painful and uncomfortable for me by the time I finished my second uh, hour and a bit stint. So, yeah, here's a few highlights of me sort of cutting through the football field uh, once I've got my finger out and uh, got back to the car. So, yeah, it's kind of nice. Enjoy! fitting into a class for cars anywhere between 2.6 cc and 4 litres as long as it's got a turbocharger and then you put it in SP8T and that's the Burt Schneider car isn't it along with Jethro Bovingdon last year when he got out of a perfectly serviceable car and stomped off and cost them having bumped into his teammate gave himself a puncture but nothing else and then stomped and that was another eight seconds back. Yeah. So 21 seconds between the top three now, being 14 Mercedes, the Engel, Christodoulou, and Metzger car, the Stippler and Muller oh, car in second. 15, 9, 1, 1, 48, and 29 totally together. And they're battling for position. Yes. It's the 912 in there as well. 912 should be in there. 
911 back a bit. Yeah. After that pit stop. Yeah, there it is. So oh, not, it's there. Yes, yes, yes. Not not that much. Sorry. I also, quite possibly, teams still deciding which rubber to use as well. Remember, Audi's last year, wasn't it? Turning up with both Michelin and Dunlop rubber and um, deciding during the week, effectively, which one to run on. So there's uh, still plenty. That is VL, VLN2 done. The garages have started to empty, the pit lane is empty, the podium has been done. Um, the truck, we're just waiting for the car to come out of Park Ferme. Um, then we're going to yeah, make a move back to the hotel to get showered because it's been, as you can see, a beautiful day here in the Eiffel Mountains. I mean, like just last weekend, British GT was rained off um, because it was so dire. Uh, and then to come to this, we've been very, very lucky. So. Um, amazing race, very very busy start, I managed to make quite a few places at the beginning which I was very pleased with. After a bit of a dodgy qualifying, qualified 18th out of 20 which is not great by uh, our standards at all. Um, we had, our quickest lap was on a code, code 60 area so we lost 7 or 8 seconds which was an absolute killer. Um, so yeah, battling through to P8 by the time I pitted, which was fantastic. Um, a good hour, 20, hour and 20 stint. Uh, then Andy took over and got up to, he was uh, battling for sixth place. Uh, and then at the final pit stop, unfortunately, the wheel studs got stuck on, which meant that um, we were massively delayed in our pit stop and ended up 13th uh, overall at the end. So. Oh no, I'm an apple dog. <laughs> Lightweight. So we finished in the top 75%. Uh, I achieved um, 14 laps. So that's 14 of my 18 laps I need for my permit A. Um, so it was. Uh, we've achieved all our objectives that we need for the race. Uh, anything else was a bonus. But yes, it was looking very, very good. Um, everything came together in the end, team-wise as well. Yesterday was such a ag with admin and things like that. But um, yeah team really performed on the day so huge thank to Jacko's Paddock uh, for their car for their their team as well and uh, for getting us to the end so yeah it's been a pretty pretty successful day um, here at VLN2 so we've got we've dipped our toe in the water now uh, I think we know what to expect for next time we come to VLN3 and for, for the rest of the year so um, yeah I uh, can't wait to come back again now it's um, pretty crazy how quickly uh, it seems to have um, come round. Looks like the cars are out of Park Ferme. That thing coming past is pretty epic, I must admit. Um, out on circuit. Yeah, the race itself with those GT3s is pretty mad. Um, just when they come past in a train, there is they, they they give space, but at the same time they are committing. They are coming through regardless. So it's uh, something that really keeps your eye open. But anyways, waffling now. Uh, yeah, big thanks to uh, Andy for putting in Mega Drive. Big thanks to Graham for coming on the watching uh, and supporting me for, for this. And big thanks to Jacko's Paddock. Uh, make sure you check them out uh, for track day hire cars as well as uh, race car hires as well. Um, we'll see if we'll be back with them later on. We've got a couple of months now to plan what we're going to do for the rest of the year. So um, make sure you to make sure you subscribe and uh, for more videos to come uh, to see how we go. So catch up then. Ciao, ciao.